There's like, what, 20 deer? Little oh, baby. This is the bravest baby I've seen though. They don't usually come up this close. <laughs> Quattro, you're looking thick, my man. I welcome, these are completely wild deer, not fenced. Um, it's low fence here, so I mean they can come and go and there's holes in the fence. Like We're not in a high fenced area, these are not tame deer. We just throw corn for them every day and they just come up and eat every single morning. There used to just be this one and like a couple does and then he brought all of his friends and now there's just like 20 deer that come visit us every morning. We just can get them all that tame. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, a little baby over there. Hey. We got the dump truck back and I've actually named it. I'm really, really proud of this name. So we have Earl, the 2012 Ram 2500, which you guys have seen for a long time and it's done a ton of work for us. That truck actually came with that name. The guy I bought it from said that he had named that truck End of World Earl. So we just, we kept it, that is Earl. So then we got this uh, 2019 F250 that Mikey drives around everywhere and someone suggested we name that one Merle, which I was like, that's great. So we got Earl and Merle. And then uh, we decided to name old Dumpy Pearl. And she's got dumps like a truck. New Amazon package also, let me show you this. Fancy. We have a brand new GoPro Hero 11. Oh, check this out. Whoa. And whoa. Look at that. Battery. 11. Cool. What, what? I don't want to change my easy controls. Giddy up, partners. Okay. Let's see how she films. I've done it. I've transferred your consciousness to this thing. Okay. Um, you know what? Before we take this thing to resort, we need to give it a little loving. Holden Bros, they not only got us our new computer put into the truck so now it actually runs, they fixed an air leak that was under the dash for the uh, parking brake, and then this was all rotted out this floor. So they welded in new floor pans in the bed, so now we won't bust through as soon as we dump rocks in here. And now I just painted the wheels, so basically I've done a ton of work as well. I think this thing's ready to rock. I know everybody's gonna say, Matt, you just painted over rust. Not only did I paint over rust, I painted over dirt because I don't really care. I just wanted this thing to look pretty on its day one. It's gonna get beat up on the resort. This thing actually drives way better than the five ton. It's got air brakes right here. Just like the five ton, but it's actually a manual, so it's a little harder to drive than the five ton. Five ton's auto, but it's still super easy. Drives like a regular manual. You're just high. You're really tall in this thing. Let's get to the resort. It's got an air ride seat. I think it's broken because I'm like real close to the ceiling. I gotta figure out how to make the seat go down. The air system works so you can hear it purging as it fills up. So these things are they have air brakes and uh, fills up as the engine spins. I need to go to lower gear. I'm going up a hill. Yeah, buddy. So works good. It did have a leak. They fixed that. I think it's gonna be a solid ranch dump truck. I mean, it looks brand new. Like, look how shiny and pretty this is. Basically a brand new dump truck. Scan this QR code. You are thirsty. Home sweet home. This is where you're gonna live for a while, Pearl. Dang. Freaking looks brand new with that awesome spray paint job that I did. I mean, those custom new rims I got. <laughs> this material is actually material we don't need here anymore. We're gonna take this off of our road that we're digging down the hill. We're gonna move it over to the road going to the range. Slowly but surely, just gonna start pulling these huge piles out. Get them out of the way.
basically we have too much of this fill on one road and not enough on the other. So we are going to have to hire a guy to bring a dump truck out for like weeks and weeks to do this and to start building our berms. We decided let's just buy one. So that's why we have a dump truck here. Oh, she's heavy right now. And I'm figuring out how to, you know, what gears to keep her in. That was probably, I shifted too early on that one. But yeah, we're, so we're just moving dirt from one side of the property to the other. We're gonna dump it on the ground. And the lady of the skid steers will come start building up this road out to the range with all of this fill dirt they were bringing in here. We're in the TRX now, so we're pausing on the dump truck stuff because we're gonna try to use this Starlink to see if we can live stream from the range. Have you ever done any like shooting? You can't do shooting on Twitch, right? You can do shooting on Twitch as long as you're safe about it. Oh really? Okay, cool. I didn't know if we had to go to Kick for that. Nope. So, have you thought about going to Kick for anything? Uh, yeah, their ad split is a hundred times better. Way than better, Twitch. right? Because Twitch is uh, it's like 70 30, I think, or yeah. 50 50. Oh, 50 50 now. The kick is 95 5. Jeez. Yeah. So, anyway, comment below if you want to see a Demolition Ranch on kick because that does sound pretty good. But basically, just trying to, you know, find another way to connect with you guys. It makes it way easier for people to ask questions if it's live, but also another revenue stream. So, we're seeing if this would work out there. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look at that. So it'd be really cool if we can get this to work. It's a cloudy day, I think, which is not ideal uh, because this thing has to find a satellite and connect to it. And clouds will mess that up, but it's not completely cloudy. It, uh, some blue skies, we'll see. Connecting, disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> Booting, and it moved itself. It's really cool too, you can leave that outside. And if there's snow, there's a, a button you can hit and it melts all the snow off. Really? That's crazy. So this thing's made for like, on the go. It's like made for RVs and stuff, right? Yep. That's interesting. Get internet anywhere, anywhere there's no obstruction. Yeah. I know some guys go like down to Mexico and they have one of those. So they have internet wherever they go out in the desert, anywhere. Pretty wild. Technology, man. Tell you. Searching. Searching? So that means it's pointing up at a satellite. That means there's a satellite right there. Yeah. Probably. You can if you squint, you can see it. It just told us offline. Got a little offline right there. Not going great so far. It's the clouds, I think. Really? Online. We're good. Online. Online. Woo! Thanks, Elon. So we got. It's not bad. About no. 90 down. Yeah, that's great down. But up's the important yeah, stuff that's for the us. Important one. Oh yeah, it's down there. Oh, uh, there we go. So that six, five, maybe oh five. Five exactly. So that's gonna be like right on the limit, yeah, probably. Yeah, right the limit for, uh, for being able to stream. All right. Yeah. Just need you, a, you can do a 720. Just need a live please. stream and try it. We are going live on Twitch now. Well, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Figure you're live. Oh, we're live, cool. Let's see. Uh, Look, I'll, I'll get a and watch you and see, see what, what we're doing. Like. Watch you, that wasn't even this loud. Um, and me, streaming. This loud. Okay. Yeah, you do. Cool. Oh, we I streamed in almost two years. Yeah, it's been nearly. What's up? Quality to look, guy. How we doing? I got stream going. We got like 600 people in here, and they are saying it is a big fail. Uh, frozen, laggy, no pixels. Not looking promising for rain streams coming up anytime soon. We got some rips in the chat. A for effort. <laughs> Donut, big fail. Hey, I know. Big fail. <laughs> I figured it'd work, man. It was doing five up. I thought it would work. Well, we could at least get like a 720p <laughs> stream or something down. Someone said at least the ads are still working. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just gonna kill this. It is not going. I just ended my stream. It was five minutes of just brutality in the comments. They hated it. No, they just couldn't see anything. They were like, why is Matt here? Because I haven't gone live in uh, almost two years. <laughs> and then I come on and I got this like super choppy, terrible pixel stream. We're gonna try on Donut's stream, go live on his and see if that works better. Donut can't even get his Twitch to like <laughs> load the homepage. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna say Starlink. 
not working great out here, which is a big bummer. It works great for regular internet things and like texting yeah. and stuff like that. But I mean, the download is amazing on it. Yeah. It just needs more upload for live streaming. So we're gonna we're gonna keep troubleshooting and eventually try to get something out here because we just have you don't have enough service out here to stream. Yeah. You know, I've had that for two years now. There might be a firmware update that I can do on it. That yeah, I know something. they also have, they have different flat panel ones that like go on top of vehicles and stuff. And But maybe they have something more powerful that if we have like a building out here that we could broadcast internet, I don't know. We'll see, but looking like uh, no live rain streams coming anytime soon. Oh, we're noobs. Donut is live. I can't even see my chat. But it, it's stuck sideways. What? Do I do that? Oh. No. <laughs> it. No, yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, you're good. You okay. fixed it. How's the quality? Is it like? It looks good. Yours is streaming fine. I can't even see my chat. Your chat's flying in here, dude. Twitch you got apps. a thousand people in here. Twitch app sucks. Yeah, it's not working great. So it's I'm moving good though, right? It's yeah, it's it's smooth. Hey guys, I can't. My chat's not showing up on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> we just did like a five minute stream on donuts, and it worked great the whole time. Everybody said the quality was good. It worked. So maybe just gonna take a little more practice. I don't know, maybe it's my phone. New phone. Yeah, just need a new phone, I guess. I don't know. Well, I was with Donut. My guys kept running the dump truck and going up the hill. It was a little too steep and lost speed and started going backwards. But they pulled the parking brake, so it stopped on the hill. Now it just needs to be towed up the hill, and it is full of dirt right now. When I was doing it, I felt like, man, I don't know if there's enough power for this. So we probably just need to put like one or two loads less in there coming up that first hill because it just it was in first gear low it has like a, it has like two basically two gears each gear if that makes any sense so it's a five speed but you can go low or high in each gear so we're in first gear low and it's still just like that's heavy you fill that thing all the way up the dirt it's heavy we were going to help pull it out but it looks like they got it figured out we got this cattle guard right here that's very broken and very loud and also yeah i mean like some of these are broken and they're still breaking more. So we're actually gonna just fill this in. We're not gonna have cattle roaming wild out here. So we're gonna fill that in real quick. Load, dump. Gonna use that to fill in the cattle guard there. This is actually pretty fun. I can be a dump truck driver. This little hill is the one that is the hardest to get up with a full load. Giving her the beans, first gear low. Oh, it's so scary as it's slowing down right here. Come on, come on, come on. Just don't die. That's it. That was the hardest part. Woo! Scary. Like, I wish this thing had like a little bit lower of a gear or like a hundred more foot pounds of torque. But I mean, it's doing it. The other guy that was driving it just didn't give it all the beans and it died a little bit up the hill. She's working. Hey, what is that animal right there? What the heck is that thing? Is that an Audad? I just like slammed this thing over the ditch when I saw that. It's not a Barbados sheep, so it's running around with all of our sheep out here. But that is not a Barbados. But I don't know what it is. It looks kind of like a young Audad or something. So let me know. I'm not a big hunter, you big hunters. Is that what that is or is that something else? He just showed up, never seen him before. Someone sent me a picture of him a couple days ago and they were like, this thing's running around with your sheep. And I was like, I've never seen that dude. There he is, is that an Audad? I feel like it's an Audad. Cool, this is fun. Air conditioning would be cool though, literally and figuratively. Barbados sheep, but he's not fooling me. Hey, big thanks on the last video uh, that we put up. I was sort of down. I just like had bad news after bad news. And you guys are super supportive in the comments, so thanks for being awesome. Uh, generally, I have a very positive outlook on life and my daily, you know, stuff that's going on. Like, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'll work through it, I'll get better. But man, that video is just like, I don't know. We lost the whole building. In my mind, I showed up that day thinking I had a building and then realized I don't, and I just felt like the whole building just fell down in front of me. So, just a bummer. But, yeah, I'm good now. This this progress we're making with the dump truck, 
It feels good. As long as I'm just pushing forward, one step at a time, that's all we gotta do. I'm gonna be so gross. That's what my lungs look like right now. <laughs> Where'd my little all dad go? That one just is the goat. Have you seen an all dad? He hadn't seen him. I have a dump trailer, but it's amazing how much more weight this thing can carry. I can probably carry three times as much dirt in this than the dump trailer. I mean, the engine is just made for it, the gearing is made for it, and then it's just the whole truck is a unit to carry dirt instead of a truck that is carrying a trailer that's made to carry dirt. I wasn't sure, like, that it was really gonna be that much better than a dump trailer. But it's so much better than our dump trailer. Already, I'm super pumped about this acquisition. Dumps like a truck. What? What? I am renting the excavator, because I didn't see a big enough reason for us to have one of those all the time. We got a big skid steer that I own. I got a medium-sized backhoe that I own, and now we got a dump truck. That's probably all the heavy machinery I want to buy. For everything else, you know, specialty stuff, we'll just rent an excavator. Because, like, once we clear out this road and, like, knock over a couple more buildings. The excavating's probably pretty much done. I guess the range actually probably could use an excavator. I don't think I'm gonna buy, I also don't have any money right now, so no excavator. But we got a dump truck. As you can see, the cattle guard is no more. It's not broken anymore, that's for sure. It's not loud. Fix that problem. We are making some headway here, just doing dump after dump and then our skid steers over here just spreading out making us a little road one more dump complete we also have the rock grinder over here chopping up some of the bigger stuff there are some big rocks in this stuff and a lot of that will get shoved down to the bottom of the road but just trying to make it you know pretty good base and you want to raise the road up higher than the dirt around it so whenever it rains it won't be washed out be good in there it's a lot of work <laughs> he honks when he's done telling me you can go now i was just reading some comments on the video i actually just posted that video live today where i found all the problems and was just talking about how hard this has been very supportive still uh and someone said a wise man once told me if it was easy everyone would do it very true and i've been told that my life as well my dad told me that uh when i was you know just at one point in my life when I was just having trouble doing something. He's like, yeah, you're trying to do something hard. Like, of course it's gotta be hard. This is not easy. I had a professor tell me that one time. I was struggling in class and trying to do a bunch of stuff that, you know, it was just hard and it was wearing me out and I was trying to figure out like, is this for me? And he said, if it was easy, everyone would do it. So remember that as you're struggling through something, it's because you're pushing yourself and it's good. It's supposed to be hard. That's how you learn. I'm gonna keep pushing, and maybe I'll be able to pull this off. It's hot to be dump trucking with, oh, my sunglasses, without an air conditioning. But, it's better than uh, wheel bearing without air conditioning, I guess, right? You might have been looking at Earl, who we just got back and said, dang, that's a beautiful new transmission that you can see under there. Check that beauty out. Also, nice new sleeve on the drive shaft. Not only did I have Ugh, a bent drive shaft. I also flew the transmission in Earl, our 2012 Ram 2500. Holden Bros actually installed this. So Randy's transmission built it for us, and uh, Holden Bros put it in. And it was actually pretty funny. Uh, they made a video. Willie was driving it over because it still sort of ran, but like not good. And he barely made it to their shop, which is only like 10 minutes away from my shop. So let's see how this thing shifts. I haven't actually driven it yet. Oh yeah. They make all kinds of high performance transmissions, but I don't need that. This is a work truck. It's just gonna be traveling around town. It needs to be able to get on the highway, pull dump trailers, that kind of thing with stock. I mean, it's it's tuned a little, but like otherwise this thing is totally stock. Like we don't need to make, you know, 1500 foot pounds of torque out of this baby. She's just stock. And so I wanted a transmission that shifts nice and firm, which it does. Like it's a little bit more firm than stock, but like really not noticeable. If you hadn't driven this truck a lot like I had, you wouldn't even be able to notice. It's super comfy, which is all I wanted. I wanted this to be a comfortable, 
work truck because my sunglasses fell on the ground again because my employees are gonna be driving this thing. It's gonna be driving around the ranch. It's gonna be driving on the highway. It's gonna be pulling trailers. It's gonna be having loads in the bed. Let's give it some gas. Oh yeah, dude, that is way better than stock. Oh, I love it. Okay, I probably shouldn't be driving 60 on my road. <laughs> uh, just roll it, not ideal. That feels so good, so good. Have you guys seen an all dad? All right, thanks for nothing. I know you're out here, and I know you're not a sheep. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen an all? Have you seen an? Have you seen an all dad? You're not even listening. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Uh, beautiful horns, by the way. But have you seen an all dad walking around or something that's just pretending to be you, but he's not you? Hello? Hey, yeah, it's me. I'm. I'm. I'm over here. Hey. Hey. Oh. Okay. This is from Willie. He was telling me about this trans when he was trying to convince me that I should get this one. Uh, he said, it's a stage one trans. It's the perfect entry level trans for replacing the stock unit. It's better in every way, but without all the expensive high horsepower stuff that 90% of people will never use. Not to mention it shifts close to stock, just faster and more precise. Cool. Y'all go check out randystransmissions.com for all your diesel transmission needs. And go check out Holden Bros. Uh, I'll link both of them in the description, Holden Bros and Randy's Transmission, uh, for helping me get old end of world Earl back on the road. There's one of our other work trucks. That thing is just a freaking champ. It's one good thing that came from this property. Had an old beat up work truck that didn't run. Took a little bit of work, new fuel pump, and now it runs everywhere. Freaking love Earl. Glad Earl's back. I was a little sad that Earl was dead for like the last month. But Earl's back. We got Merle now. We got Pearl now. We got my first gen Cummins named White Lightning. We still have not named the V10 work truck. So uh, if you guys can think of any good name for that, uh, it's a 2000 F250 with a Triton V10. Are there any more names that rhyme with Earl and Merle and Pearl? Girl. Churro. If I just decided it's Churro. C-H-U-R-R-O. Churro. Yeah. That's the perfect name for that truck, that's Churro. Once we get all of the kind of base of that road port where we can drive dump truck down it really easily, all of this stuff, this like rubble, a lot of it was, uh, there was a rock building here that was just crumbly, so we just went ahead and knocked it over. All of this, all of this, a lot of ashes, chunks of metal, but mostly just rock and tile and, junk and dirt. We're going to start moving that in to make our berms out there. Um, it'll be like the inside of the berms because we want these things to be like, I mean, this pile right here is probably about maybe nine or 10 feet tall. We want them to be about double that. We'll build probably a nine foot tall berm like this with all the, the rubble and then we'll come back and put dirt over the top of that to make it the full height because I want it to grow grass. I want it to be pretty. Obviously you don't want you know, this to be your berm because it's disgusting and gross, but that'd be great filler for the inside of it. So as soon as we get that road done, we'll get all this rubble cleaned up, which man, this has been here for months. I mean, it's actually a lot of it was here for years, but it's just been here the whole time I've owned it. So it's gonna be really cool to see this all cleaned up to where it's just fresh canvas. We can start over. This place is shaping up. It's taken a long time, but it is freaking moving. Also, it's raining over there. It's raining there, not there. It's raining all over there. So last video, I was like, the road's way expensive and we have to knock down that building. It's totally trash and my river's dry. And I was like, Bleh. but this video, I'm like, we made some good progress on that road. I don't care about that stupid building. I do a little bit, but I suck at building. And it might rain today. All right, keep chin up, keep pushing. One foot in front of the other. Thanks for watching this episode of Renovating Abandoned Resort. I love you, and I'll see you next time.